three. Hello, my quilty friends, and welcome to a tutorial from the Covered Bridge Quiltry. Today, we're going to show you how to use the block lock ruler. So for a lot of people, this seems a little daunting. Why is there a big gap in the middle? No worries. We're going to show you exactly how this works. We're going to use a couple different tools today. First being our block lock. Today, we're going to be using the six and a half inch ruler. This allows us to make or trim anything below a six and a half. We're also going to use the rotating mat. The rotating mat is great because it allows you to move your block around without ever picking it up from where it is. So you're going to have a more even cut. We're going to show you how to use the two at a time method, and we're going to show you how to use the four at a time method. So I've prepared these, but I will tell you exactly what I did for each. I place my blocks right side together. And with the solids, it's difficult because there is no right side, but you place your fabrics right side together, one on top of each other, then point to point on this quarter inch ruler. And I like the 12 inch quarter inch ruler just because I can use pretty much any size block. So you make sure that the yellow line lines up. Sometimes I just kind of shift it to make sure that I can see that it is right on the corner here. And then you put your quarter inch on either side. You can use a water soluble pen or you can use a heat erase pen. So now I've marked both of my lines. Now I've pre-prepared this fabric so you, you'll see that I already have sewn them. So once uh, they're marked, I take it to the sewing machine and I sew both of my seams. Once that's done, you can use a ruler going point to point again. And I like to use my small rotary cutter for this just because it makes it a little bit easier to make sure that I'm nice and straight. And then I cut and here you go. Now I have two half square triangles that I will press open and they will be able to be trimmed to a four and a half. Now let me show you how to make four half square triangles at a time. So again, using math, I'm able to figure out what size my original block needs to be in order to make the finish size of your half square triangle. So what I've done is I've placed my two blocks right sides together and I've sewed a quarter inch all the way around my block. Once you've done that, you're wondering, hey, how am I going to get this to work? Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to align your ruler edge to edge. Take your nice small rotary cutter and cut across. Now, this is the beauty of the rotating mat. I can turn it all the way around and then place it from the other edge to edge and cut across again. So cutting it in the X will give me four half square triangles. So this method allows you to make more than two at a time. So now that we've made these, I'm gonna go ahead and trim these up to two and a half. So now we're gonna use our block lock to trim up our half square triangle. So I place the block lock on the low side. So here, I know that this is the low side because on this side, I have a seam. So this has three thicknesses right under this side. So I place the logo or lock on the low side. So L on L, and I'm going to press firmly against the seam. So if this seam is not quite straight, or if it has a little bit of a curve when I ironed it, it will straighten out as I push here because this groove locks into the seam. So I want to make sure that I can see my two and a half inside of my half square triangle before I make my first cut. It's okay if I have a little bit more over here, we're going to trim that on the second cut. But for the first cut, I want to make sure that I see that two and a half. I'm using my small, small rotary cutter to trim up both sides. Getting rid of all the excess here. Then I'm going to slide my ruler up just a little bit and I'm going to rotate my mat. Once I've done that, I can slide my ruler all the way down to two and a half. And you'll notice if you have the wrong side of the ruler, you'll never get these to line up. It has to be the low side on lock. So now I have it perfectly straight with my, perfectly aligned with my two and a half, and I'm gonna go ahead and trim my other side. Now remember that my low side is here, my high side is there, I'm applying pressure in that direction to make sure that it stays nice and firm up against the seam. So I'm going to trim my second side. 
and here we have a perfect half square triangle. So let's do it again without our rotating mat because not everybody's got a rotating mat. So here again, I'm using my lock on low side. I'm pressing firmly up against my seam and I'm making sure that I see that two and a half that I want to trim inside of my half square triangle. I trim two sides. Then I move up my ruler. Now, because it is locked in, if I rotate clockwise, it will spin my block with it. So I'm going to move this up so I'm more in the camera here. But again, I'm inside of this. I'm making sure that I have my two and a half on either side. And I'm trimming. So remember, if you rotate clockwise, it will push your block all the way around. And I have a perfect half square triangle. 